Okay, welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to show you how we double smoke our Easter ham on the big green egg. I know it's been smoked already, but we like to put a little extra smoke on it before glazing it. So we're going to set the egg up for 250 with indirect cooking and we're going to get the internal temperature. We're going to hook up our meter to it. Once the internal temperature is to 130, we're going to start the glazing process. Let me show you what we got. So I am not going to be using whatever this is that came with the ham. Looks like some sugar and you know, other stuff. We are going to be making a roasted pineapple habanero glaze that's going to go in there with some extra orange juice, some allspice, and a few other ingredients. Today, let's look and see what we got going for this ham. Pick this up at the local store. I didn't really want to get a spiral sliced one, but that's what they had. So that's what I ended up getting. Went to a couple different stores and apparently ham's a thing this year where it's a little bit harder to get the what I was exactly looking for, where I usually get it. Um, didn't even have any ham this year. So let's take a look and see what we got. We are going to glaze this. Like I said, with the pineapple habanero glaze that we're going to make. But first thing we are going to do is rub a little bit of the famous Dijon mustard on the outside just to get something for the uh, smoke to stick to. This is a bone-in spiral sliced ham. So it should be good. Looks like pretty good quality. So let's get the Grey Poupon on there. Don't need a whole lot, just need some to uh, coat the outside of it. You want to make sure you get it all on there. It's a binder. We may put some spices on here also to help with the flavor a little bit. But it also gives the smoke something to stick to. Plus it should give us a little bit more color in the end. Last year we did one and it came out amazing. I didn't use the pineapple, um, but I did the pineapple and the orange a couple years ago and the wife absolutely loved that one. So we're gonna try to duplicate that again. If you're gonna put it on the smoker, you're gonna wanna put it in a roasting pan like this. Also, I'll put a little bit of water in there to uh, help keep the bottom from burning, create a little extra moisture. All right, I'm going to go get the egg fired up and then I'll show you the roasted vegetables that we're going to do to go along with this. <laughs> Okay, so our roasted vegetables, we're going to do a rutabaga. If you've never had rutabaga before, it's yummy, especially when you roast them in the oven. We're going to roast them along some organic carrots. And we also have some Yukon Gold potatoes, which we love roasted. We're probably just going to do salt and pepper on these, a little bit of avocado oil. And also we'll finish it with a little fresh thyme at the end. Try to keep all your sizes of your vegetables approximately the same just so that they cook evenly you want a nice bite-sized piece and you can put throw them in a bowl to mix them with the uh, avocado oil and salt and pepper but i usually just do it right in the pan makes it a little bit easier one less thing to clean up rutabaga you got to be super careful with it's got a very hard texture to it so when you're slicing into it make sure you have a sharp knife not a dull knife dull knives are more dangerous than a sharp knife Bigger ones we like to cut in half. 
carrots take on a nice sweet texture too when they're roasted. probably do a time lapse on this because this is going to take me a little bit to get through. All right, so that's all of our roasted vegetables. Like I said, trying to keep them pretty much the same. Potatoes will get a little soft quick, so I can leave those a little bit bigger. All right, let me get the avocado oil and the seasoning, and we'll be right back. Okay, so today, like I said, we are gonna be using the avocado oil. You don't need a ton. But you wanna be able to make sure they're all coated well. That way the pan Gets coated a little bit too, nothing sticks, helps everything caramelize. I'm also going to use, I, was, I did say salt and pepper, but this is farm dust. You get it at our local market, salt, pepper, garlic, a few other seasonings in there. Got a really good flavor. Use whatever seasoning you guys like. Obviously something with salt and pepper. Little coating. Mix that up. A little bit more. Alright, now let's go check on our and see how it's doing. As you can see, I've already got the meter inserted. The internal temperature is 41 right now. Target temperature, 145. Ambient temperature inside the egg at the top of the ham is 213. Dome reads about 250. Which my dome usually, to be a 250 at the meat, um, typically the dome's like 275 to 300. So check back. And there's the meter probe in there. Okay, so now it's time to assemble our glaze. And here is the roasted pineapple habanero finishing sauce and glaze. We actually got this one at Costco. Absolutely fabulous. And you have brown sugar, bourbon or whiskey, fresh squeezed orange, apple cider vinegar, and our spices. We have a little bit of salt and allspice. And also we're gonna do a tablespoon of Dijon. Okay, so in with our habanero 
pineapple sauce. Brown sugar. Good bourbon or whiskey. Two tablespoons of orange juice. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And a quarter teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of allspice. And we're also going to add a tablespoon of Dijon. So we're going to take this outside to our outdoor kitchen. We're going to let that simmer for about 10 minutes, cook out the alcohol, get it all combined together, and we'll have it ready for our glaze for the ham when it gets to about 130 degrees. So my meter probe just notified us we have two hours and 13 minutes left. Internal temps 58, target 145, and ambient temperature is 241 according to the meter. According to the A, the dome temp is 300, so I could possibly open that up a little bit more. Got to close pretty good on the bottom. Let's take a peek. Oh, it's starting to look good. I said you want a little bit of that juice in the bottom so the bottom doesn't burn. When I go to glaze I'll probably take some of that out depending on how much is left in there. All right so with this habanero glaze that we use it is a little bit chunky so I'm going to hit it with the immersion blender get it all homogenized. Now when that cools, that'll thicken up, so it'll be nice and easy to glaze the meat with. Right, it says an hour and seven minutes left, 81 degrees, like we talked about earlier. We're going to glaze at 130 degrees. Here's a glaze we made up after we put it through the blender. It's going to thicken a little bit more once it cools down a little bit more. Yeah. All right, so meter says 28 minutes to go, internal temperature 110, ambient still a 258 ish. Take a look, see how she looks. Oh, look at that. Smoky, yummy. Time to glaze. Let that bake on there a little bit and check back in a few minutes. All right, so the glaze is on there nicely. I'm just going to add a little 
touch more just to make it glisten. You can probably hear in the background it's a little windy out today, so that's why we're not fishing. We're cooking Easter ham a day early. Alrighty, so here's the final product, our double smoked pineapple habanero glazed ham, plus our roasted vegetables. We have rutabaga, carrots, potatoes. Got some nice color on some of these. They are all cooked all through. We give a little taste test. Take a sneak a peek from back here. Ooh. That's tender and juicy. Mm. Mm. Smoky, not too hot. Thought it would be a little bit spicier, but overall, very good. You guys need to try this out. Let me know how you take care of your ham for Easter. Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in. As I got to the end of the edit on that video, I realized that I didn't do an outro. And the ham came out amazing. If you are new to the channel, thank you for tuning in. If you're coming back, I appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and click that like button and the notification button. And let's see what else we got going on in the future. Thanks.